From being a broke and unknown actress who struggled to pay $100 for a photo shoot to being a Hollywood superstar worth more than $300 million. This is a shocking story of Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer was born on February 11, 1969 in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood of Los Angeles. We thought that she would have a grand reception into the industry as both of her parents were movie stars. Her father is Greek-born actor John Aniston and her mother American actress Nancy Dow. Jennifer Aniston has said that she knew from a young age that she wanted to become an actress, following the footsteps of her parents who were both actors. But though her parents were entertainment giants, young Jennifer was prohibited from watching television at home and further encouraged not to become an actress. Her parents divorced when she was nine. In interviews, Aniston has described feelings abandoned by her father after the divorce, as he moved to California to pursue his acting career, leaving Aniston and her mother behind in New York. Aniston has said that the divorce made her feel like she was two different people, as she would spend half of the year with her mother and the other half with her father. She has also spoken about the difficulties she faced as a young child dealing with her mother's own emotional struggles. Aniston would rebel against her parents' will two years later, and she joined a drama society in high school. She attended the same high school as actors Robert De Niro and Al Pacino and was a member of the school's drama club. Featured in a handful of plays, including Three Sisters and the sign in Sidney Brewstein's window. After high school, Jennifer worked as a waitress and a bike messenger while keeping up with her acting career. She featured in off-Broadway productions like Dear Life and Dancing on Checker's Grave. Jennifer had her first regular television debut in the 1990 American sitcom Malloy. That same year, she was cast as a teen girl in a summer camp in the made-for-television film Camp Cucamonga. It was all looking fair and bright until she was featured in the American horror film Leprechaun. Aniston would years later express her regret in being a part of the show. She told the Entertainment Weekly in 2014 that she felt embarrassed by it and it was her worst role as an actress. Jennifer had a tough career start, but she wouldn't give up. Aniston once asked to pose for a photo shoot, but did not have the $100 required to pay the photographer for his services. Aniston offered to pay the photographer with a personal check, but he refused to accept it. Undeterred, Aniston reportedly asked the photographer to hold on to the photos until she could come up with some money. She then went to work as a waitress to earn the money and eventually returned to pay the photographer and receive the photos. Jennifer got an opportunity of lifetime when she met television executive Warren Littlefield, and he encouraged her to keep on acting. He was the head of NBC Entertainment, and with his influence, he helped cast her on the television sitcom Friends. This show was an immediate hit, and it turned the attention of the world on Jennifer and her co-stars. And the heated romance between Jennifer's Rachel and actor David Schwimmer's Ross Geller kept fans glued to their screens. They won majority votes as television's favorite couple in polls and magazines. For her character in Friends, Jennifer earned five Primetime Emmy Award nominations and two Golden Globes. Did you know Jennifer Aniston almost didn't play Rachel Green in Friends? Aniston was initially offered the role of Monica on the show, but she felt that Rachel was a better fit for her personality and acting style. She convinced the producers to let her audition for the part of Rachel instead. After her auditions, the producers agreed that she was perfect for the part and offered the role. She also became one of the highest-paid actresses in Hollywood, earning $1 million per episode during the final seasons of Friends. But if money could buy the perfect life, maybe, just maybe, Aniston would enjoy a less tumultuous and drama-free life. Maybe life wouldn't have denied her wish to have a child. She told Allure magazine, I was trying to get pregnant, it was a challenging road for me, the baby-making road. Aniston in an interview with The Deep Pains expressed how much she wanted to have a child, but all her efforts would come to nothing. It was really hard. I was going through IVF, drinking Chinese tea, you name it. Jennifer also denied the rumor that her former husband Brad Pitt divorced her because she didn't want to have a child. Jennifer Aniston and Brad met through their managers in 1990, and they started a relationship a few months later. The stars kept their relationship a secret for the first few months before their grand appearance at the 1999 Emmy Awards. They made sure to give their fans a hard-to-forget marriage with a dreamy beach wedding in Malibu, California. It looked like it was going to last forever until the actress shared the shocking news of their separation five years later. There was a speculation that Brad was having an affair, but the actress would dismiss all that. According to her, nobody did anything wrong. It was just like sometimes things happen. Their divorce was finalized in October 2005, and two years later, Brad would claim that he still maintains a deep friendship with the actress. 
Jennifer's second marriage was with actor and screenwriter Justin Thoreau. They met on the set of Tropic Thunder, and they started dating a few months later. Aniston confessed that her relationship with Thoreau got better each year, and when he popped a big question to her in 2012, she was delighted to be getting married to the man of her dreams. The movie stars tied the knot in August 2015 at the back of their 22 million house in Bell, California. But sadly, this was not her happily ever after either. They separated after two years. The actress has endured a lot of heartaches from her many love adventures, but the most remarkable was done by family. Jennifer's parents were both movie stars, but they did not want Jennifer in the family business. Growing up, they wouldn't even let her watch television. According to the actress, her father didn't want her in Hollywood because he knew firsthand all about the harms of the industry and he was trying to protect her. But the actress said that these restrictions would even make her want it even more. If they had their way, we might probably have another person as Rachel Green. But the actress is glad that she didn't listen to her dad's advice to become a lawyer. Do what makes you happy and don't ever let people box you in, she told Closer Weekly. Against her parents' wish, Jennifer became an actress and grew apart from her parents. And it was not just because they had tried to stop her dream of becoming an actress, but she still was not happy about the way they separated when she was nine. After the divorce, Jennifer remained in New York with her mother while her father relocated to Los Angeles with her older brother. Jennifer's mother would always want young Jennifer to look perfect at all times, and her extreme quest for perfection will lead her to neglecting what her daughter truly wanted depriving her of all the normal childhood fun. My mother was critical of me because she was a model. She was gorgeous. I wasn't. She told Closer. Jennifer and her mother naturally grew apart, and in the later years of her career, they would even stop talking. To aggravate matters, her mother published a memoir titled From Mother and Daughter to Friends. In her memoir, she revealed a lot of things about Jennifer's childhood that she would rather keep private. It's not until her divorce from Brad that Jennifer would try to fix things with her. According to her, the divorce made her understand how her parents' separation had affected her mother especially. I think my mom's divorce screwed her up, she said. Back in that generation, it wasn't like a go to therapy or talk to someone. After her dad moved to LA, things grew complicated with them too. Still, in the interview, she confessed that she had forgiven her parents. She is grateful for the experience with her mother. By looking at her mother, she learned what not to be like. There is a lot to admire about Jennifer Aniston. But in high school, she was taunted as the dumb kid. She struggled to read, understand, and retain what she had read. At first, she thought it was a side challenge. But after the test results, Aniston was told that she had dyslexia. And that was why she wasn't so book smart. While reading, her eyes would occasionally jump four words. And this made learning even more difficult. Due to her learning condition, she battled with self-esteem issues for 20 years. But in all, the actress is grateful that she passed through all that she did as they all, in one way or the other, contributed to the woman she is now. Jennifer is also very active in the charity department. She has been in the commercials of St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. She has also hosted cancer awareness programs and recently donated $500,000 to Red Cross and another $500,000 to Rick Martin Foundation to assist victims of hurricanes in 2017. Jennifer Aniston, now 54, is in great body shape and is still as charming as ever. She lives in her $21 million mansion in Beverly Hills. Aniston has an estimated net worth of $300 million. Now, it's your turn. Do you have any fond memories of the celebrity actress Jennifer Aniston? Let us know in the comment section below. And please watch our other videos on beautiful actresses of yesteryears. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and hit the subscribe for more videos like this.